Hello guys, today I'm interviewing Tommy Murphy. He is 2-0 and, and he's back out on the 29th of October at York Hall Bethnal Green on TM114 Promotions with Lee Eaton and Mo Pryor. And um, yeah, so con if you can make it to Tommy's fight, contact Tommy for tickets. Um, well, t tell everyone how much they are. Uh, there's fifty pound tickets, seventy five pound tickets, and a hundred pound tickets. But any support's welcome. So, yeah. So I think you've got an opponent in um Michael Mooney. Yeah, as as far as I know, I'm boxing Michael Mooney. Am I right? And he normally boxes a bit heavier. I think. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know too much about him. I just know that we're going to box on the 29th. Um, He's I've durable, been told... just put it that way. Yeah? Yeah. I've been told I've been uh, the fight's at 64 kilos, I believe. So that's what I'll weigh in and we'll go from there. <coughs> yeah. Is it another four-rounder, mate? Yeah, it's another four-rounder. I'm going to finish the year on a four-rounder. Then hopefully my first fight next year will be stepping up in rounds. What, so move on to like a sixth rounder, yeah? Yeah, that's that's the plan. Hopefully all goes well on the 29th and then we'll see what opportunities I can get. I've just got to trust Al, my coach, Alec, whatever Alec he says Wilkie. goes, really. Yeah. Yeah, whatever Alec Wilkie says goes, so. Yeah. So should we talk about your, your debut? Yeah. So your debut, you were against Lee Devine. Yeah, that's that's right, Lee Devine. And I think the ref scored it 40-37, which that must mean that one round was a draw. Yeah, it must have been a draw. Personally, I didn't think there was like I didn't think I lost a round or drew a round, but yeah, yeah. I got the win, so it don't it don't matter to me. Were you nervous before the your like your debut? Uh no, I wasn't nervous until I started walking to the ring and then I thought oh, it's getting a bit real now, but there's always a little bit of nerves, but it's just however you however you uh however you deal with them. And I'm not too bad with the nerves, but it was a little yeah. bit nervous when you hear all the fans because I had a, quite a few fans there. Yeah, because but... when I was there, you um on in your second fight, you had quite a few people there. Yeah, I've always got good support, thankfully. Uh, loads yes. of friends and family coming up to support me, and hopefully now some of my performances, I get some fans watching on the um some. Some Straight. people I don't know support me. Yeah, that's yeah. the one. Um, because I think your teammate headlined your debut, didn't he, Mickey O'Rourke? Yeah, Mickey O'Rourke. Yeah, he headlined the debut against Conor Mars. Uh, my debut against Conor Mars. Then. Yeah, but he came up short, which is a bit unfortunate for him. Yeah, he just he just lost, but Mickey's a good fighter, so. We, he's been out the he was out the ring for quite a long time. So um it was always gonna be a hard fight for him and Conor Marsden got the game plan right on the night. Fair play to him. Yeah. Do you think Mickey's gonna fight again or do you think he'll hang the gloves up? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I I ain't really asked him because I'll just let him do his thing. Um I'm sure he he needs a little bit of time. He's he was training hard for that fight. So hopefully he comes back because Mickey's a great talent. He's a good fighter, and I believe he can win a few titles. He just needs to be active. Yeah, I agree. And then, so wait, so did you stay around after your fight to watch Mickey? Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, were you upset for him, kind of? Uh, yeah, you can say upset because he's my teammate. He he helped me get ready for my debut because I was sparring him. And um, obviously, it'd be nice for him to win. But it's boxing. You win some, you lose some on the yeah. night. Mars didn't win. And uh, that's all that can and be said really about the, that. the same night as you, Connor, fought again and he got stopped. He was winning most of the rounds and then he got knocked out. Yeah, like I just said, it's boxing. Things happen. He was winning the fight. Well, I didn't watch the fight. I just see the knockout. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. But I've been told he was winning the fight and uh, he got caught by a great shot. And uh, fair play to Martin. He got the shot right. And uh, he's the new Southern Area champion. It is what it is. One shot can change the whole fight and knock the opponent out. That's it, mate. And well, in, in your second fight, you fought a great, well, durable opponent, Lee, Lee Hallett, who's a very tough man. 
Yeah. Um, yeah, he, he had a good go against you, didn't he? Yeah, he he come and give it a go. He roughed me up a little bit. It was a, it was a good fight to be involved in. It was a fight I needed early on to 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 show me where I'm at. And I think I handled it. I think I handled it all right. I got through it. I got the win. I showed that I can fight a little bit. I showed I can box a little bit. And uh, yeah, for my second fight, I think I did all right. Yeah, I knew when it went to decision. I I had it three one to you. Yeah, that's how I scored it. So thirty nine thirty seven, and that's what I think the ref said that as well. Yeah, I think the ref had it the same way as me, same yeah. way as everyone. I think. What about um? Did you have like a an amateur career at all? Or? Um, I had about thirteen, fourteen amateur fights. Not a lot. So that's why fights like Lee Heller are good for me because I need to learn on the job, and um, hard fights like that, I'm just gonna get better and better. So. It was a good fight for me, a good learning fight, and uh, yeah, yeah, and and you move forward onto the next test. Yeah, onto the next one in uh, I think it's just under three weeks or just over two weeks now. So, yeah, so I've got not a point. long to go, mate. Is no, that not what long you wanted? to go. Because after your fight, you you were you straight back in camp because like you've got a fight coming up soon. Yeah, I had the weekend out of camp. Uh, the weekend off the because I fought on a Friday night so I had Saturday yeah. and Sunday off enjoyed some good food and uh, relaxing and then I was back running and in the gym on uh, on Monday uh, just started sparring again so got yeah. about two two weeks left of some sparring and then we're going again 3 and 0 finish the year strong so is this your last fight this year yeah I believe so yeah I think so yeah yeah I see you. You're, you're all, you've got quite a few people in your team, haven't you? Liam Wells, Zoe Hunter Smith. Yeah. Who else? Yeah. Mickey. We got, uh, Rod Douglas. Mickey. Rod Douglas. Ray Bear. Uh, we got Dean, Dean Gardner. Gardner. He, he his we fight got, got cancelled, but he's fighting the same night as you, I think. Yeah, Dean's fight got cancelled, unfortunately, but he's fighting the same night as me now, so that's good to have Dean in the change room. He's like my brother now. We got. We're the whole team we're we're a close team we're all like family in there and we got uh Liam's with us now and same with Sarah we got a new girl fighter uh, Sarah so sorry I slaughtered her name um yeah we, everyone everyone's cracking on they're all, they're all good fighters is Sarah and, fighting uh, the same night as you for a title no 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 that Sarah's not fighting the same night as me that's a different Sarah oh okay yeah I'll keep an eye out for Sarah. Yeah. Yeah, she's a good fighter. Has she is she pro yet, or is she making? No, I think she's doing it the amateur. But the plan is to go pro. Yeah. Because she's mixing it in with some, she's mixing it in with some top girls, some top pro sparring, and she's she's flying. So yeah, hopefully, yeah, she can get going soon enough. Are you a fan of boxing as well? Yeah, I'm a fan of boxing. I like the big fights, but sometimes you you train so much and you you sparring so much, you you, you want to get away from it. Yeah. Sometimes you, example, sometimes you can't be bothered. For example, would you watch the fight, uh, Savannah Marshall v Shields? Yeah, I think I'm gonna watch it. It's just half the time, it's just busy running around training yourself, or you got plans to do spending time with the family and that. But if I get time to watch fights, yeah, I sit down and watch them. Yeah. Who do you think would win that fight? Um, I got Savannah Marshall. I think Savannah Marshall is going to win. I'm not sure how, but I just believe Savannah Marshall. I'd like to think so, but Shields is, she's fought loads of loads of good girls, and uh, she's never seemed to struggle. So yeah, should be a good fight. Yeah, I'm gutted that Zoe's not on that bill because it's an all female card. Yeah, it would have been nice to have Zoe on that bill, but um, what can you do? I'm sure she'll is. get an opportunity. Yeah, it is where it is. I'm sure Zoe's going to be out soon, just waiting to hear things. Uh, she's always in a good fight, Zoe, so hopefully she gets a break because she deserves one. Yeah, she should do. She's a good fighter. She is a good fighter, Zoe. So have you? do you not watch your opponents before you fight them? Uh, not really, not really, mate. It's something you might have a look, a little look now and then if I'm not doing nothing. But um, 
for Lee Hallett, I didn't have a look at him. And uh, I got in there and thought I was going to be able to do what I want. And I was wrong. He come out and roughed me up and caught me some good shots. And uh, yeah, I, I had to adjust and stick to my boxing and end up getting a win. But so I don't really... Was... Uh, do you think that was harder than your debut? Because I, yeah, well, when I was watching it, I thought Lee Hallett gave you more like of a like a, a fight. Yeah, definitely. Lee Hallett caught me some good shots. He made me have to change my game plan. He made me have to get switch on a bit more because I went in there and I thought I thought I could do what I want and I was gonna be, it was gonna be easy and it was not easy at all. Yeah. So I overlooked him in a way, but maybe a message for you in the future is just not like overlook them. Maybe that's that's it, mate. That's it. Next time I will take every fight. You look at their record, and he's lost what fifty odd fights, and you say, "Oh, he's going to be easy." But some of the fights, mate, that he's lost, he's actually won the fight. Yeah, that's it. Before me, I've watched him in a couple of fights. Uh, like I seen him at York Hall. And um, I thought he won a couple of fights. Obviously, like I, w- I saw live, and uh, he's a, he's a tough was fighter. He but when you were when you were there, I'm not sure the kid's name. To be honest with you, it was on a Goodwin show, I think. Was it um the same night as Dean made his debut? Uh, I'm not sure. I go to your your call so much to watch some teammates and friends fight that I forget what day it is. I think it might, it could have been, because I saw you um, at Dean's debut, like us, you were at the balcony with Zoe. Yeah. yeah and I was, I was the at Zoe. It could have been me. I'm, I'm not sure. I go to your hall nearly every week sometimes, so I get a bit confused. Yeah, yeah. What, so you go there quite often? Yeah, because you think we got a good five people in the gym and I've got loads of friends in the boxing scene so it's always going to support friends and uh, cheer them on so I'm quite up there quite a bit I think once I, one time I was up there every every weekend of the month so wow yeah it's always supporting friends and That's teammates nice. it up your call and hopefully yeah, they it's... come and support you because you support them yeah, that's it. You support them, they support you. You don't, you, you give it and you get it back. So it's nice. Yeah, that is always good, isn't it? Yeah. So have you been doing training today? Like, have you been, what, what have you been doing? Pads or? Uh, I did some sparring with Dean today. Just some sparring with Dean. And, uh, How many I got a little, rounds? Uh, six rounds today. Getting getting him ready, getting me myself ready for the thirty uh the twenty ninth. Got a little run later, and that's it until tomorrow. So, do you train every day? Yeah, apart from Sunday. Sunday, I can have a relax, a relaxing day. A day off. Yeah, that's it. Rest the legs, rest the arms. So I see you. You like your football as well. Yeah, big QPR fan. Yeah. They're doing okay at the minute, aren't they? Yeah, they're uh, joint top. They're third, but everyone above them has got the same points as them. So they're doing all right. They're doing very well at the minute, aren't they? So hopefully they get promoted next year, or this year, shall I say. Yeah, I I would like to see them play my team because Man United are going to, will beat them. But it's, it's good that, mate. It's good, it's good. I don't think so. Man United ain't the best no more, are they? I mean, we've came down a bit, but we we we're still, you know, we've got a new manager and he's doing all right at the minute. That's it. It takes time, doesn't it? Yeah, but yeah, we'll we'll see what happens on that. QPR I've got to get up first. Yeah, I mean, we might play you in like an FA Cup or something, but you know. Hopefully, mate, it'd be good to play one of the big teams. What so? If you drew, yeah, because when t- pre- like League One teams, I know you're in the championship, but when League One draw like Man City away, they get really excited, is it? Because like it's a new ground and the Etihad's pretty big and they've never been there. I don't get it. Yeah, that's it, mate. You, you, you play in the big teams, is you, 
you're in a championship and you get to see the players, like big players, like you said, if you play Man City, you get to see Haaland and De Bruyne and all that. So it's a good um it's a good experience. But like if Crawley played City, they're not really expecting to win, like the fans. Yeah, they're not expecting to win, but stranger things have happened. You never know. Yeah, you just never know in football as well sometimes. That's it, mate. It's all it's all about luck. So, did you always want to be a boxer, or did you want to be a footballer? Um, I, I, I didn't really play football growing up. I played, I played little bits. I played on the Sunday a few times. What I really wanted to be was a millionaire, but that ain't happened yet. So, we're sticking to boxing until that happens. Yeah, I, I'm sure if you keep training hard, mate, these titles and these doors will open for bigger things. If you just work hard, it will come. That's it, mate. Fingers crossed. That's the plan. Keep fighting. Hopefully get a couple big fights and uh, win them and we'll see where we go from there. Yeah. Go, going back to your amateur career, how many fights did you win out of, what was it, you said 15? I lost two fights. So I, 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 think, I don't know what, how many, I think it was 12 or 13. Yeah, yeah. But I lost two. Did you I win anything as an amateur? No, I didn't. Uh, the only thing I entered was the Celtic Box Cup, and I, I lost out there in the semi finals. I thought I won, and so did most. I think the only people that I don't even think the other team thought they won, but it is where it is. Yeah. So much of boxing. So, what made you want to turn over pro? And honestly, mate, it's, it was it's always been a dream to turn pro, but um, my amateur coach was a bit unwell and he had to get an operation and uh he never would go pro because he's had loads of good fighters like George Groves, James DeGale and he would never he never went pro with them so I I heard he weren't going to come back to the gym and um he weren't going to be coaching no more so I thought I don't want to do amateur coaching without him so I turned pro and uh I stuck and that's it yeah I turned pro because I didn't think he was coming back and I just stuck with it so he He's tra- he's trained George Groves. Yeah, George Groves was his coach as an amateur. Oh, that's cool. Hopefully, yeah, George... mate, you can follow in his foot uh, George Groves' footsteps and get to the top. Is that the dream? That's it, mate. That is the dream. Big sh- big shoes to fill. So hopefully, with a bit of luck, can we we get up there? Yeah. So what what would be like? I don't know, like your dream venue to fight at. Uh, Loftus Road, probably. Fight it down QPR. It's, it's happened before Barry McGuigan won his world title there. Um, hopefully, I get big enough to to fight fight at Loftus Road. I'd like to fight anywhere. I just, Wembley, O2, uh, Wembley. Yeah, O2, Wembley. Even other football grounds. Las Vegas. But, God, Las Vegas. Ameri- anywhere in America would be the dream, mate. But one step at a time. Yeah, mate. But York Hall's a good iconic venue. Yeah, I've I always wanted to box at York Hall, and I ticked it ticked it off the bucket list now. So we need to set new goals to and new places to tick off. Uh, York yeah. Hall's always always a good venue. It's a good atmosphere as well, especially when you bring a few fans and there's other fans. And who are you when, you, signed when it's a good show? To? Are you signed to Goodwin or are you signed to TM One Fourteen? No, I'm a I'm a just managed by Al. Alec, Alex, just my manager. So you don't have like a promotion? No. Because you fought so on the Goodwin anyway. show on your debut. No, the, the my debut was a TM14 show as well. Oh, yes, mate. Yes. Sorry. Because that was, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, mate. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, but, no. Uh, I've, because I've on the on Goodwin two, website, I think you were on there last time I looked. Yeah, uh, I was. So I, I was with Goodwin for a little bit, but things didn't work out. And then I ended up signing with Al and Al's just managing me. So I can go on whatever shows I want, really. Well, whatever shows I can get, Al can get me on. Yeah, yeah. So, and TM114 and Lee Eaton are putting you on their shows. And so that's good. Yeah. At least TM14. you're staying busy. They're keeping you active. That's it. The guys at TM14, John, Abdul and Aaron, and they had a space for me with Mo, uh, and Mo Pryor. Uh, they had a space for me on July 2nd. And uh, Al rang up, got me on. And I boxed well. Uh, I brought a few fans. 
And then they asked me if I wanted to fight. There's a there's a chance for me to fight on the 30th of uh, September. And uh, I did fight again. And then um, and they want there was you a back chance on to fight it again, again, mate. So it's going well. Yeah. Then. Because it's good, it's good to work with, and they're they're easy to work with, and they get a lot. I get along well with them. They get along with my dad. They get along with Al. So it's it's all working well. So I'm it's sure a win-win, I'll, I'll mate, probably, for you. That's that's it. I'm sure I'll probably be on the shows again in the future. Um, yeah, they got good exposure now, so it's win-win for me because they're putting on brilliant shows and they're broadcasting and, uh, it as well, like on YouTube, so that you get more as well. That's right, mate. Yeah, they put it on YouTube last time, and um, I think there was a, few, a good few viewers. So it's just good to get my name out there. You never know who's watching them streams. Mate, you never know. Eddie Hearn or Frank Warren could be knocking on your door tomorrow morning wanting to sign you. You never know. Yeah, I hope so. That'd be <laughs> that'd be nice. Yeah. But if you keep working hard, I'm sure one day you can fight on those shows as well. If... Yeah. Yeah, mate, slowly but surely we'll get there um, one step at a time. And uh, when the opportunity comes, I'm sure I'll be ready to take it. Yes. And my last question for you is, do you want to shout anybody like out who's helped you in your career? Um, there's so many, but I'd like to shout out Alec, obviously. Um, all my gym mates, the ones we talked about earlier. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sway Lee, one of my other coaches down the gym, Derek Granger, my that does my corner on the fight nights. My dad, my dad's a big help to me. Um, sponsors. my sponsors, yeah, yeah, my sponsors, Johnny at uh, Volume Commissioning, LGM Construction, uh, Barry at State of Mind, Neil at Better Life Exists, uh, the Pig and Whistle Pub, and Sorry, I've got forgot, but forgot might have forgot a few, but well, I'll just like look at your socials because I know you like you know show them on your fight gear and stuff. Yeah, that's it. I'm trying I'll to just... think. Pardon? I don't think I got any more. I that's think that's right. it. Thank you for your time, Tommy. You're gonna go three and zero on the 29th. Smash him. That's it. Thank you, mate. Thank you for having Cheers, me, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Bye. Bye, bye, mate.